Hola, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for a plan with me. Today, I'm going to be decorating the pages in my happy planner for my journal. And I use a horizontal layout for this. So if you're interested in seeing um, how I decorate and set up my weekly spread for my journaling happy planner, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna take out this bookmark here because that way um, I can plan on these pages and it'll be smooth. When I leave the bookmark in, usually it kind of gives me like an edge right here where the bookmark ends and it kind of messes up my flow. So let's take that out and now I have the blank pages here ready to go. But before I get into that, let me share with you um, the, the spreads that I have done uh, previously in my journal here. So I actually use um, a classic style horizontal layout for my journal and I use the pressed florals uh, journal for that. That's the beautiful um, planner with the purple cover and the florals on the front. So this was the monthly overview for July and then this was the last week in July and then I have my August overview here. And because it's my journal, I tend to not use these monthly overviews very much. And I just tend to decorate them with stickers and do a kind of like a little sticker collage there. So this is the August divider and then my August monthly. I am very loose when it comes to my August monthly because this is my journal, so I don't really plan in it. But I do tend to write um, maybe the most important or exciting or noteworthy thing that happened to me during the day. Um, for the, So that way when I look back um, at the monthly, I can just see at a glance what happened to me <laughs> during the month. And um, the weekly spreads are my journal and the horizontal layout just lends itself so perfectly for writing and journaling because it's pretty much like lined paper. And so um, I'm very, you know, creative and uh, flexible with how I format my weekly spreads. And so um, I tend to experiment and play around in this journal or this planner more so than any other of my planners because it is my diary basically. So those are just a couple of spreads that I've done so far and let's get into decorating for this new week. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna white out the names of the days here because I really don't need them and they kind of mess up the flow in my opinion. Um, at first I just didn't really care that I had them and then after a while I just, was a little bit tired of constantly having them kind of interlaced in my writing and i decided that i might as well take the you know five seconds to white out the the names of the days and see there we're done we're done and that way, now I just have a completely blank slate to work with. Of course, I have this little box down here that says this week. And I tend to leave that and just kind of write a note of like the overall feeling um, or theme of the week here. And I'm fine with that little box. So we're going to go ahead and start decorating. I have some Mulan stickers. These are the large Mambi stickers. Um, that uh, you can get at Joann's. I picked up a pack of these and they're just a lot of fun to play around with. I have some washi tape um, and the fun floral sticker book from the Happy Planner. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do actually is get some of this washi tape. And I was kind of inspired to get this washi tape because it is a, a cherry blossom washi tape. And I thought that would go really well with Mulan's stickers or with Mulan because, you know, of her uh, scene in the garden where she and her father contemplate a cherry blossom. So I thought that I could work this washi tape into the spread. This is one of my favorite washi tapes. It is such a cute washi tape. I love it so much. Lay it down and I'm just gonna rip it here so that I can still have my 
box over here on this side and there we go we have the washi tape laid down and i'm gonna uh, pick up this sticker here mulan it looks absolutely beautiful um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and place her right here yes she looks gorgeous and I think I'm going to grab this quote here that says dreaming with confidence and I'm going to go ahead and I think put that here on the side in a vertical style. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to put it right here on the spine. It's a little bit too long to put horizontal and I kind of like the idea of having it be vertical. I don't want to cover her though, and I think it would be too close to her here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, place this here, but I might layer some floral stickers underneath it first before I place that down there. So um, let's see. Maybe I'll use some of these here some of these pink ones. Oh, I always do that. I always try to place the sticker down and then I just end up accidentally touching it to the page. So there we go, dreaming with confidence. I think it's a little bit crooked. Let me see if I can, oh, nope, there's no way that thing is coming up. All right, it's staying there. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna take this sticker and, you know, I'm so tempted to just cover up this box. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. It's okay. Oh no. It's getting windy out here. I'm gonna take this sticker that says Radiate Kindness and I think I'm gonna place it here at the top, on top of her. And I'm gonna take these little sparkles as well and just kind of place them around her. This one I'll also place uh, kind of like up here. And then I think I'm gonna take another flower sticker, place that right there. She looks kind of crooked. I wish I had placed her a little bit straighter, but I guess that's fine. <laughs> um, place more florals down here. There we go. These are really beautiful illustrations. It really makes me want to um, draw my own princesses. I think that would actually be really cool. That would be a really cool idea, I think. I would love to do that. So I'm gonna take more floral stickers. Ah, and place, I'm gonna place one up there. And I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna do any more. I think that's all I want to do. I think there's enough quotes on this, enough Mulan on here, and I'm happy with how it turned out. I actually really like using the Disney princesses in my journaling uh, planner because um, for me, the, the Disney princesses and Disney movies in general, for me, they really speak to childhood and those the nostalgic memories and i feel like a lot of the times when i'm journaling it's it's very self-reflective it's more about deeper emotions it's more about my vulnerabilities my fears my anxieties my dreams my goals my hopes my wishes really private sensitive things you know and um, for me, like having the Disney princesses there, it kind of connects me to my childhood and to a time when I think I was a little bit more raw and sensitive and able to like uh, really 
to connect with those emotions in me and I think it's also because like um, this is pretty much my diary I, I mean I say it's my journal and it is my journal but but I feel like the idea of a diary is a bit more um, vulnerable there's like a, a sense of vulnerability to it and a sense of privacy to it and I think just having the Disney princesses there kind of connects me to like um, being uh, being more in touch with my like primal childlike emotions and so um, I think that's why I like having the Disney princesses there and yeah I just have been really enjoying um, using them so I used Snow White for my previous spread and then this week it's gonna be Mulan I'm so excited to journal in this spread another thing that I like doing in here besides journaling and reflection which is really important and that reflection can either help me process you know stressful things in my life whether that be fights with my family and my friends or you know existential crises I might be having um, another thing that I like to do in here that I've been starting recently and that is really taking me out of my comfort zone is to write creatively in here. So I'll be journaling, but I'll also try to channel my emotions into poetry or to, you know, short pieces of prose because I am trying to work my uh, creative writing muscle. I do want to uh, publish um, some sort of uh, some sort of fiction or poetry or creative writing at some point in my life and I think this is great practice for me um, and it's also just you know fun to do it in that way instead of just kind of journaling your emotions it's kind of fun to kind of take it that next level and so I've been really enjoying trying to write poetry in this section here so yeah uh, I really like how my spread came out. It's pretty simple, but you know, I think Mulan, she's such a superstar that you don't really need anything besides her. So thank you again so much for checking out this plan with me and for joining me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to know if you have a journal and what you tend to do in your journal. Do you use a happy planner for your journal? What kind of planner do you use? Let your girl know. And as always, um, um, it's your girl Four Lizard, aka Miss Daniela, aka the Planning Diva, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!